Hey guys, so I'm finally doing the tutorial on the virtual classroom or virtual library. I know that you all have been asking me for this. Um, it's very easy to create your own and I hope that I can make it even easier by explaining all the steps. So here we go. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure you're logged into your Google or Gmail account. Um, and as you can see up here, I'm logged into mine. You're also going to need to have your Bitmoji ready. So I'm using Google Chrome because it allows me to have the Bitmoji extension right here on my browser. If you're using Safari or Internet Explorer, that works fine too. You would just email yourself the Bitmoji from your phone or your iPad. Um, and you would just copy and paste it right from your email. The first thing we're going to do is click on the nine dots in the top corner of the screen and select slides. And once you do that, you'll go to the bottom and hit the plus icon that allows you to create a new presentation. Now we're going to clear off this slide by deleting both of these text boxes that are here when we first started up and we're going to add a background. So you'll see right up top, there's an icon for background. When you come here, it's gonna allow you to choose an image. So there's two ways um, that you can do this. You can do a Google image search that will search within uh, Google Slides, or you can upload an image that you've searched in google.com on your own. So I'm gonna show you both. Um, there's a bit of a difference between the two and I'll explain that in a sec. So I'm gonna click Google image search and I'm going to put in floor to wall background. And what you'll see is a ton of images that have this diagonal 3D looking, um, I guess, feel to it. So that's what you want, basically. You want the room to feel like an actual room. Um, I will go ahead and select this one and then hit insert and done. So once I'm here, I would go ahead and add a chair, um, a bookshelf. If I'm making a library, I would add my Bitmoji. So th this is one way that you can set up your background and start up your classroom. Another option you have is to go to background, choose image and upload. Okay, so when you go to upload, you're gonna be selecting images that are already on your computer. I do have a few that I've saved, but this is how I found them. I came into Google, I put in floor to wall background, and I went to images. And you'll notice there's a lot more to choose from when you do the search this way. There's cool lighting. Some of them have plants in there. Um, there's a ton with furniture. So most of the ones that I have saved have furniture. I prefer to start with the background that does have some accessories in it. Um, and I'll show you the ones that I chose, but basically you would just go ahead and save the image and remember where you're saving it because when you come back to your presentation, you're gonna browse for it in your computer. And I have a few, so I have that one that I saved, this one, this, and also this image. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this last one here, open, and select done. Okay, so obviously this is where my little Bitmoji will sit and I'm gonna place my bookshelf right in this empty space. So I chose a background from google.com that I had saved on my computer and uploaded that already has some items in it. Um, I prefer to do it that way just because I feel like they're more proportioned and then I have an idea of what size I want my Bitmoji to be. Um, I think it's a little more challenging to start off with a clean slate and have to kind of figure out, well, how big should the chair be? How big should the table be? Um, and if you look at mine, the one that I used uh, already had a chair, a plant, a table. I just added in the lamp, my Bitmoji, and the bookshelf. So let's come back here. Next, we're gonna insert our bookshelf. 
So I'm gonna go to insert image and search the web. And this is also how you would insert any um, accessories that you wanted. So I'm gonna put an empty bookshelf and scroll for one that I like. I know there was a few at the top. So I'm gonna go back up there and select one of those. And I'm just gonna drag it right into my slide. I'll scoot it over here. And then you can make it as big or as small as you want. So I'll shrink it to about that size. Maybe make it a little taller just so my books can fit in there. And now I'm going to insert the images of the cover pages of my books that I have saved on my computer. So the cover of the book is what will lead to the YouTube video for that story. So insert image, upload from computer, and then I'm gonna choose this story, Gaspacho for Nacho, which is one that I read on my YouTube channel, and shrink it down so that it fits on that little bookshelf. And then drag it over. And then see that I might have to shrink it a little bit more, which is fine. Now I have my first book on my shelf. So what I'm going to do in order to add the link so that it's connected to the YouTube channel is click on the book and the link icon right up here and make sure your book is clicked on. And once you click on the link, it's gonna allow you to paste a link in there. So I'm gonna go over to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna select wow. the story and hit share. That will give me a link that I can copy. So I did that, I copied. And then I'm gonna go back to my presentation and paste my link right in there and click on apply. So there you have it. That link is now attached to the image of the book cover. So I can show you when I click on it, it will take me to girl. the story. All right, let's do that one more time. So insert image, upload from computer, I have another story here that's ready. Um, Lacey Walker, Nonstop Talker. I'm gonna shrink this one too. Small enough to fit on my bookshelf. Still a little big. Okay. Now, remember we click the image, click the link icon. I'm gonna go back to my YouTube channel. And find that story share, copy link, and paste the link right in there and apply. And there you have it. Two books on my bookshelf, both linked to videos. You can link your objects to any kind of video that you want. I just turned mine into a library, but yours might be a morning bulletin, um, a morning message, or a math problem that you chose to do and record yourself and posted a video of it on YouTube. Um, so next, maybe you might want to add a piece of artwork. So insert image, search the web. Let's put in painting. And let's drag this one in here. And obviously it's way too big. We're gonna shrink it down and we'll put it right there, which is pretty cool. Um, now let's say you wanted to add a title to your, um, your slide, just like I have Ms. Farrah's Virtual Library. And if you click on that, you'll see that it's linked to my Ms. Farrah's Room um, YouTube channel. So I'm going to insert text box and add that up here. Welcome to our virtual classroom. You can make it nice and big. And then we'll come over here to center our text. Now, in order to turn this text into a link, you're going to highlight the text and then click the link icon. So I'm gonna go back over to my YouTube channel, get the link, copy it, 
come back to my slide, paste it with those words highlighted. Don't forget to do that. And now these words are automatically a link to my YouTube channel. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to insert your Bitmoji. So remember, if you're using Chrome um, and you have the extension, you would just click on the Bitmoji. And I'm going to search sit and we have a bitmoji sitting right here i'm going to drag her in shrink her a little bit and then what we can do is um, if you click on your bitmoji you can rotate her so i'm going to see a, what, which way works better so there i flipped her horizontally and now she fits perfectly on the chair you can make her longer shorter, skinnier, fatter, I mean, whatever you want. Um, I might move her, let's make her a little bit smaller and then move our painting over a tiny bit, okay? And there you have it. So we have two linked stories and a linked title. Like I said, there's so much you can do. I'll click back to the one that's more complete. Um, there's tons of things. These are all little images that I just added in there. The lamp is added. Um, it's super easy to do. I think that, you know, the kids really get a kick out of seeing the Bitmoji and then also seeing the stories and the cover pages. And it's a lot neater, I feel like, than just coming over to the YouTube page and looking at it this way. So I hope that this tutorial helped. I hope it makes things a little easier. Um, and I wish you all lots of luck with your distance learning. Bye.